Hey guys, Ross Givens here. Wanted to make a quick video update for everybody uh, for something I've been promising to put out for about six months, and that is when I thought the low was in in the market. Now, for the last six months, I've been talking to you. Obviously, you've been in a nasty bear market saying, uh, showing you the things I'm looking for to let me know that the low has likely been in, meaning the stock market is not going any lower. It is time to start buying stocks, and all three indicators I'm watching have just printed letting me know there's a high probability the low is now in. So I'll just walk through those really quickly. First of all, this is the S&P 500. I'll make it candles. so you guys kind of prefer candles. So I talked about last week a technical level I was watching. Obviously, this market has been making a series of lower lows and lower highs for going on uh, around six months now. I see lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. And this has been uh, a textbook downtrend. So the technical level I told you that I would be watching would be a break of the last high, which is right in here. And now that that's printed, we have broken the trend of lower lows and lower highs. We're now making a higher high. We have this nice sort of pivot formation uh, right in here, which is exactly what I look for in stock breakouts, where we get kind of shallower and shallower as we tighten up against resistance and then break out to the upside. So that's one of three. The other thing I look for is a follow-through day. Now, this concept uh, brought by William O'Neill, the founder of Vetra's Business Daily, is you're looking for, after a low, a, a, a cash index up above 2% or more on a day on increased volume. And yesterday, which was, uh, well, yesterday, Tuesday, right here, notice the market was, watch this number right here, Okay, up 2.7% on the day. And if you look at the volume down here on the bottom, it was an increase over the prior day. So that's signal number two. We have a valid follow-through day. And then finally, a big level I watch are these 90% updates. Now, without getting too technical, essentially it just shows you when there is overwhelming panic buying or selling, all right? And it looks at the... Uh, percentage of the volume that was advancing versus declining. And if it's 90% uh, declining volume, that's these red arrows here, that is just panic selling. They're just dumping everything in mass. The 90% up days on an increase in volume, that's the important part because it's not enough just to have an up day. We wanted a, a significant up day. Um, we've now seen two of those. Now, don't pay attention to this current one right here. It, it doesn't actually print until the, the day ends, so that's just a repeat of yesterday's candle. But if you look at the last couple of days here, we got one 90% up day on Friday, and then a second one yesterday on Tuesday, 93% of the volume advancing. So yesterday's action on Tuesday, we broke the technical level, we had a valid follow-through date, and we had a 90% up volume day. All the three things I've been watching to signal that the low is in. So is this guaranteed? Is it guaranteed the market will not go lower? No, but in my opinion, and based on everything I've followed for the last 10 years, I think there's a high probability that the low is in it is time to start buying stocks. So what do you do with that information? Well, don't just go nuts and put everything in on margin. I'll tell you what I'm doing. So first of all, my long-term accounts, this is like uh, my kids' college funds and personal retirement accounts, I am putting money in. So if you're in partially in cash, I'm going back into the market. If you have dollars sitting on the sidelines, you know, maybe take a few bucks, put that into stocks, just the SPY or some basic index. Additionally, I've got a personal rule where anytime we get these signals, I am buying something. I'll give you a couple of stocks I really like right now. The first one is Enphase Energy, ticker symbol ENPH. Now, this stock obviously just got demolished when the bear market started, came down, but now it's setting up in a pretty textbook breakout entry here. You'll notice uh, the, the signs we generally look for, a nice move up and then a shallowing out where the pullbacks get shallower and shallower and shallower as we form here against resistance. It is just hitting that kind of breakout level around 217, 218. So I like in phase for a move higher. I think you can risk 7 or 8% on a, uh, on a trade here to see if this one has legs. Another one, one I talked about 
in the uh, sort of State of the Union webinar about a week ago, MGPI. It's MGP Ingredients. It's a uh, distilled spirits company. And once again, this stock forming what I call sort of a base-on-base base pattern. So despite being in a bear market, this stock has actually been rallying higher. And generally, stocks that hold up well in a bear market, even advance in a bear market, can have explosive moves higher once it turns into a bull market and sort of that pressure of the, the, the general stock market is no longer holding it back. So you see here, we had this kind of big cup with handle pattern. It tried to break out and then formed sort of another base of tightening right in here. Got really, really tight there and trying to break out right now around a 103 mark. Uh, so this stock kind of broke out, has pulled back, giving a nice little entry. You can buy MGPI right in here, place a fairly tight stop loss. Uh, just about, you know, around $98, $99 risk, maybe 4 or 5%, really, really low risk trade. But uh, this market does have legs. This stock could make a really strong advance higher. There's obviously lots of other opportunities out there as well, but just wanted to give you a couple of names if you're looking for something to buy today and get yourself a little bit of exposure. So, that's all I really wanted to cover. Uh, obviously, I've got my hands full over here. If you have not heard, my wife uh, gave birth to my first daughter Sunday evening, so we're super, super excited. Uh, I'll show you a picture of her. For those of you who've been asking, this is Georgia Ryan Givens, and she is 7 pounds, 10 ounces of perfection. Um, Mom is, is healthy and happy, and we, uh, uh, we couldn't be... Uh, any more joyful over here. So everything's going really well. They are downstairs. And I said, honey, can you give me 20 minutes? I got to go buy some stocks and, and, and uh, make a video for my, my uh, members here. So I wanted to do that for you guys. Since again, we've been watching this for several months now, and I promised to let you know when those levels were hit. So I'm calling the low. I could be wrong. Don't, um, you know, <laughs> again, don't go crazy on margin with this thing, but based on the technical signals, based on history and what generally signals a market bottom, I think the low is in and we could be at the very beginning of a powerful new bull market higher.